All right, so today is day 30th um, from, you know, for this development content that I've been trying to share with you guys. And uh, first of all, at, you know, at the point of this recording, the Kickstarter actually hasn't even started. So I don't know if, um, you know, if we have reached the goals or anything like that. Uh, but I, was, I still wanted to create some, um, some value for you guys during this kickstarter campaign and so if any of you that are listening supported us on the kickstarter thank you very much and if you haven't and you're still considering it today is the last day uh, it's closing tonight and so for the last video i want to talk a little bit about the asset browser uh, because i think it's very critical to set this up especially if you are working with 3d kits and this will make your life a lot easier it takes a little bit of work at the beginning, but after that, it's going to save you a lot of time. And so the way that this works is that you are linking a folders on your computer uh, to Blender to tell Blender to grab specific assets from those files, from those Blender files into a library. And so you can uh, you can organize this the way that you want to. But the way that I do it is that I have uh, a couple folders, I think like two or three folders inside my computer that have specific Blender files for this asset browser that Blender has. And so uh, I'm going to explain to you very quickly here how I set it up. And so you can see here that if I go to my Red Horizon folder, I have my kits and that I can, my pieces that I can just simply click and drag into my scene if I want to, right? And so the way I'm gonna set this up is, uh, I'm gonna show you a couple different ways. So now uh, I, I opened up a new file, right? Let's say this is our new file. And what I did was I went to my, this is sort of like my working 3D kit file. Uh, I'm not really concerned about the organization of this as much. And I just grabbed the pieces that I knew that I needed, sort of like the prime pieces, and I copied them into this new file, right? So let's say this is my my pieces that I want to have for my asset browser in here. I normally don't do every single piece. Uh, I do just like the prime core pieces because I don't want to I don't want to have a hundred pieces here. That's going to be a little bit difficult. But if I made like a couple of buildings, I'll probably add them here as well. That way I don't have to build them all the time. But for the purpose of this, I'm just going to keep it fairly fairly simple in here. So I have most of the assets here. And what I'm gonna do is this particular file, I'm gonna save it to that folder that I told Blender to read from uh, to uh, to the uh, to the assets itself. Now, if you go to your preferences, I think you can set it up in here. Let's go to, uh, where was that? File Pass, Asset Libraries. And you can just go to the Add Asset Library and then you'll find the folder that you wanna have those files and then uh, you can add it in there. So you can have as many as you want in there, but I mainly have three. And so this file is saved into one of those folders. But that's the first step, right? So now um, you can go as organized as you want with this, but I I try to make the names of the objects uh, pretty close. Not, not all of them, right? So some of them don't have the actual name, but you can see the actual name of this because sometimes this preview here won't show as good as these right here. These are pretty good, so I know what, what these are. Um, but sometimes they do, so, so having the name will, will be beneficial. And then the other thing is that some models, for example, let's pick, let's pick this one here, simple, right? So maybe this model have to, has two objects, has this core part of it, and then the other object could be the, sort of like the tubing around it. And so I like combining everything that relates to the object into one object and then naming that object, whatever that is. So that way I don't end up with a thousand different objects, right? Or assets in here. And so that's sort of like the main sort of work, the organizing part of it, keeping everything clean and making sure that, you know, they're, they're there. And so that's going to be sort of like the, all, the next step. Now, once I do that, once I have that, everything set up, uh, I'm going to select all the objects. I'm going to go uh, control A and then apply all transforms. 
And what that does is it's gonna reset the transformations for the objects. And then I'm gonna set the origin to geometry. And why the reason why I do that is that if we go to the next step, which is creating it as an asset into the asset browser, um, it's gonna read the orientation of the object and the preview might look a little bit weird, right? So this object might be upside down or this might be flipped over or something like that. And so if I reset the transformations, the preview for the most part is gonna come out straight on like this, which is great for visualizing the actual object. And so once I do that, then I can select all my objects, right? I'm gonna go right click and then I'm gonna mark as asset. Now you're gonna see here that I already did that because I have the icon over here, but I'm gonna mark as an asset. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna go into your asset browser and this right here is gonna be empty still, but the asset browser, you can find it here is gonna be asset browser and you're gonna go to unassigned. And on the unassigned, you're gonna see all these assets that you build. It's gonna look similar to this, but on the unassigned. And it's very important that once you do that, you save the actual file. So control S, right? So you save it. If you don't save it, which has happened to me a lot of times, you won't see the updated uh, version of this because remember Blender is reading from the actual file inside that folder. So you make sure that you save the actual file on each of these steps. And so uh, right after, once I have it on, on the on assign um, that I see them here, I'm just gonna create a new, a new folder, right? New asset catalog and I named it Red Horizon, which is the name of the um, of the kit itself, but just so I can relate the assets into there. And once I do that, um, you're gonna see that if you go down here, you're gonna go into current file or into your files that you have under the preferences that we did at the beginning. And so under your current file, you're gonna see your files on, their, on assign. But once you save it, if you go, if I go, this is the folder that I have that, that file. And if I go down here, I'm going to create a new um, catalog. I call it Red Horizon, right? And it's going to be empty when I create it, but I'm going to go to assign and click all the assets and sort of like move them into my new catalog. So I'm just going to select them like this. And I'm just going to click and drag and move them into the desirable um, catalog. And then I will have them on the Red Horizon. I'll make sure I save that file and um, and then I have it in there, but I have to make sure that I make it as an asset. I save the actual Blender file and then um, and then move the objects into there, save it again and, and do all that, right? And once I do that, if I open a new file, let me close this one here. If I open a new Blender file, I'm gonna go into my asset browser, which I already have it set up in here. And I'm gonna go down Red Horizon right here. And then I have the assets right there, right? And so I can also find them here. So if I go to the actual library of the files that I have in the preferences, right? I have these three, I have my modular rocks, which is another set. I have my scale model, which is this. And then my red horizon here, uh, which I have in here. And so now is, now I don't have to worry about my original file unless I wanna add models to this, right? I can come back here redo the same thing with the new assets and uh, sort of refresh that. But now I can close it without no problem. And now with this, I can just simply start dragging things into here. So let's say for example, that I, you know, want my mail building here, and then I might my end cap here to move this here, move here, do that. And then sort of continue from there, right? And this comes with the textures and everything. So I don't have to worry about that either. And so, uh, this is a very great, uh, great way to save some time long term. Uh, it takes a little bit of a setup, but eventually, with time, you know, I have, I have a lot of, I have a lot of kids that I have saved um, with, with you know, with time that um, that I always go back to and sort of, sort of uh, use them and reuse them and play with them and edit them and all that. So. Uh, using the asset browser is a great uh, a great way to do that. Again, this is the last day for our Kickstarter. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, little journey um, of this content. Um, thank you guys again for the support, and I will see you guys in the next one.